Hey, this is my co-host, Jacob Owen Cangelosi. He informed me, he asked me just seconds ago, what is the most talented bone in my body? And what was your answer? Was it your... My... He said, is it your... My lemur. Your lemur, which I said is actually a animal. <laughs> this guy keeps me laughing all the time, and I'm so thankful for him. So, today, we are... make you laugh. Oh, you better. <laughs> That's what you're here for, to make us laugh, because we need to laugh right now. Today, we're going to be in Joshua 4, and we're going to paint... Um, I actually saw another artist do this. Yesterday, what? we had a drive-in. <laughs> I did my job. <laughs> we had a drive-in um, uh, Good Friday <laughs> service. And anyway, Corey talked about and tomorrow's Easter. And Corey talked about memorial stones and how important they are. So my favorite part is so Joshua has just taken over in um, Joshua three has just taken over, like leading the entire nation of Israel, and they're crossing the Jordan. And it says in verse four, "Then you will know which way to go, since you have never been this way before." And I thought right now, how true of us right now to, because we've never done this before. We've never been quarantined before. We've never, um, we've never had COVID-19 before. And so, but to know God we is. We won't have COVID-19 though. And to know God is faithful no matter what. So then God calls him to build a memorial stone. And so, um, later on in chapter four, he says, when it. When he's built this memorial stone, he says, When your children ask, what are these stones? That you, then you will say that all the peoples of the earth may know that the hand of the Lord is powerful. And so that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to fold my paper in half. So I have my watercolor paper. And I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to start by drawing a couple kind of... Um, not perfect ovals, and I'm going to show you. So, get your paper and watercolor pencils. You can use, we have watercolor markers. We also have watercolor pencils. You could use markers or crayons, whatever you want. You have around your house, I'm going to flip this camera around and show you my paper. J.O. is going to make all kinds of noises. So, here's our paper. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this boy. Um, could you fold it? But he sure makes me laugh. Okay, so I'm folding J.O.'s paper. So, fold it in half, and then sometimes I like to use a little pin to make a crisp edge. Okay. There we go. So we're going to make a card for someone, and I'd love to know who you're going to give God's word to today. So... I'm going to do, I'm going to start with a little oval on the inside. And again, it's not going to be perfect. So I don't want it to be perfect. And then as J.O. chops his sonic slushy, I'm going to make another oval. So kind of like a, but again, look, like it's a bigger up here, smaller down here. Hey, buddy. I don't Just let it melt for a little bit, okay? Okay. So I have an oval right here. That is not perfect, which is exactly what I want. So we're going to start. And if you want, Jay, I'm going to have you use these. So this is a watercolor pencil. You can start with watercolor pencils. And I am actually... A pro at watercolor I'm, No, pencils. I want you to use that. Okay, there you go. You so I, I made an oval. Okay. Big oval? So look, I have two oval circles. Two oval circles. Okay, so I have actually just have a regular pen. So everyone has a pen lying around, hopefully. And the first part is long. So that's kind of, let's bring that one like this right here. Okay, so the first part is long, so that's why we're using a pen. And I'm going to write, when you, here's an eraser. When, I'm sorry, when your children ask what you're doing. If you were with me yesterday, you saw my graphics department, i.e. Jacob Cangelosi, made a graphic. This is my graphic for my show. It's called Mom Goes Bananas. Isn't that right? Isn't that what you told me? So this is my new graphic for my graphics department. I'm very high I tech. I, I know you made it. <laughs> when your children ask, what did you do over the years? <laughs> what are these stones? 
So I'm just doing regular cursive right here. I don't know questions. It's okay, I'll help you. When your children ask, what are these stones? That's what we're going to start with. If you want, you can go and do our foligraphy, even just with your pen, which is just on every downstroke, you're going to thicken that line. I'm going to bring a few lines around, make it look like I did it on my first round. When your children... And something I've been challenged to do here lately is use this time... I want to write each of my children a letter because but you haven't wrote it to me. I, I will. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to. I'm going to write them each a letter because I think they'll remember this time sort of. Um, they're at an age where they are sort of remember it. But oh, I, will. I, you will. I'm so glad. But I want to write to them about sure. how God provided, what he did, the ways I saw him work even in hard circumstances. The way I saw people be kind, even in hard circumstances. Obviously, I want to take them to do as many um, outreaches as possible. But I also just want to be, I want to be reminded of this time, and this is how we're choosing to be thankful. Because I think sometimes when I write those words to them, it almost builds my faith to know this is the kind of legacy I want to leave so what? how am I implementing these things to make that a reality? So when your children ask, what are these stones? So we're going to stop with that. And I'm going to come and get my paintbrush. And I'm going to stick with black for my lettering since my ink on my pen is black. So I can match that. And then I'm also going to be using green, blue, and just different shades of green and blue and black today to make my stones. So we're gonna do 12 stones around here for the 12 tribes of Israel, but I thought this 12. could be our COVID-19 stones, our memorial. And on these stones, I'm gonna actually, let's see, we're gonna do a little bit of lettering and then we'll start with our stones. Okay. How's that ice coming over there, bud? It's coming hard. <laughs> He has a frozen slushy from a few days ago. Hey, can you stop or go do that over there on the floor while I do this? Is that okay? Just so my hand won't shake. So now I'm gonna write that all the peoples that all. And remember these lines, we're gonna erase them in just a little bit. <laughs> Jacob Owen. Okay, I'm not gonna do all your cursive, okay? Oh, but I don't know. I'll open the Bible and you can look, okay? Oh, the Bible isn't cursive. I know, it's not cursive, so you can read it. So I just read the Bible? Yeah, well... Out I'm, loud? I'm about to bop you. <laughs> I'm going to go get a snack. Go, okay, go get a snack. That's a good job. I'm opening Got the Bible for you. Got okay. Jo has brought an entire box of shortbread cookies. I wish you were here to have one. Oh, yeah. That's so kind of you. It's time. Red cookies and slushies. This is a good day, huh? Oh, yeah. And the sun is shining, and I thought it was supposed to be raining. So that's awesome. <laughs> Deo is now currently under the desk. He's really helping me. Hey, do you remember everybody gets one day to paint, and you actually have to paint? But <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone can see you. But all the peoples. People. So on my photography, I start with my cursive. And then I'm going to come and thicken those lines to the best of my ability. <laughs> it's in the Bible. He just said, I don't think there's a word that says peoples. He whispered it in my ear. I like that you're looking out for me, though, because... One time. I... Lots. Oh, tell me that. Hey, are you going to paint something? Why don't you paint a football field? No. <laughs> but that's part of the day. Okay, now this one, I'm actually not thickening my downstroke. I'm thickening the other side because I have a little extra space right there. That all the peoples... Yeah. Of the, and I'm going to do that in a block font just to kind of break oh. up what I'm doing. 
break up the painting. Okay. Can you put that line close to that line? I'm going to do a little dot in the middle. I'm bringing some lines down just to give them a little bit of depth and on those letters. Character. Of the earth. Character. Good word. Of the earth. So, I've got earth in cursive. You're chowing down in here. No, I'm good. Thank you so much. Remember, Another I had one, guys? I, he's offering you a cookie. Isn't that kind? <laughs> <laughs> You're silly. Okay, of the earth may know that. And so in the, this last little space, I'm going to take up that space with long, skinny letters. What? May. Oh. No. I'm going to do little dots because that's all, that's what I have to work with right now. I made it a little too close. Hey, can I use that pencil real quick? Fine. Sorry, here. Look, I'm actually already erasing part of my line because I don't have quite enough. I told you not to do that. <laughs> I don't have quite enough to do my that. So I'm I'm erasing part of it so I can make that word right there. So and obviously I switched to cursive, not because I that's not what I was planning to do. I just realized, oh, I don't have enough room. If you're wondering what Jo's doing, he is currently <laughs> knocked a hole in his slushy, and he needs to go get another cup in a different. He's also sitting right next to me, like literally in my chair. He is what we call a lap dog. Okay, hey Jacob, go get another, go get another cup right now, and move the move that so you have your own chair. So I'm going to switch back to my pen just for a second, just to kind of make it look like I planned this ahead, even though I didn't do a great job. So, oh goodness, that's him at the door. <laughs> Y'all, that boy makes me laugh so hard. May know that, but then I really want to accentuate hand of the Lord, and then we'll go back to pen for is powerful. So, here we go. Hand... Mom. Uh huh. This is watch your PJ Mask. I know. I know. Jill had a little throw up accident this morning, so that was a bummer. But I think yeah, she's on the mend. She's pretty happy to be watching PJ Mask right now. Best day of the life. Best day of the life. Hand, and then we'll write of the. Hey Jacob, if you're gonna do that, go on the ground. Oh, gosh. You know when the girls are in here helping me, it's really not as loud as this. <laughs> oh, I was about to drop these cookies. All right, well, please don't. That's a huge box. Okay. Can you see the cookies? Okay, now you got to pick them up. I'm so glad you could join me for this peaceful lettering session with the child picking up cookies, and I'm still going to make him eat them. Hand of the Lord is powerful. He is totally ready to do this. Okay. J.O.'s picking up cookies if you're just joining us. And I am trying to paint. Hand of the Lord is powerful. Can I go get the vacuum? Uh, yes, but we're not going to vacuum. We're going to vacuum when I'm done with this, okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, you dropped some bread over there. Did I? Yep. I don't remember having bread in here. Look at that. I'm pretty sure that was you. <laughs> no. Oh, it's a cookie. Okay, so I'm doing my little quotes at the beginning and the end. And then this is out of Joshua 4. It's a glass desk. I forgot. Okay. Wait, oh, oh. Joshua. Hey, pick up those little crumbs over there. What was what you dropped? Gone. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. I'm back. He's back. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. I don't know what to do with him. If you have any parenting tips, send them my way. 
Okay, the hand of the Lord is powerful, and I'd love to know ways that he has shown himself powerful to you. So now I'm going to take about an inch brush, a little less than, and I'm going to make, I'm going to take it, and we're going to do some stones. They're not going to be perfect, and obviously they're blue, so they're just going to be misshapen, almost circles, and I'd like to fit... Circles! I'd like to fit... 12 in here, if possible. 12? Okay. One, two, three. Here's a fourth over here. I'm going to switch colors. I'm going to do a little darker blue and gray. Five. Six. Let's see, seven, they're getting lighter. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to like a greener color. Eight, Nine. I guess those have moss on them, who knows. Nine, mm, I don't wanna do that right, there. 10, Eleven. and we're gonna go back to. You can put one right there. Okay, that's a good idea. That's Here's... a huge. Is that a huge one? Yeah. Here's a teeny tiny one. So there's twelve. Okay. So oh, I want to come back in crap. here with my eraser, and I'd like to, as carefully as possible, erase those lines that I did as my little guidelines for my wording for my. Um, for my stones, if you want to wait till it dries and erase, that might be easier. I'm just trying to do it fast. Fast! Quick, quick, quick. Fast, fast. My dog could have those cookies. Jaya, what's been the best time about this time at home? What do you like the most? Um. Do you like playing? Do you like going on walks, helping your dad? Got chickens. You got chickens? That's pretty fun. What's been the hardest thing? Siblings. Siblings. I thought you were gonna say missing your friends. Um if, if you heard the commercial that says everywhere I look I see light and shape. This is my version. Everywhere I look I see siblings and stuff. Siblings and stuff, yeah, that's true. There's you have a bunch of siblings, don't you? Okay. So on around all of these I'd like to kind of accentuate them. All we're going to do is do a not perfect line around them because stones are not perfect. Do that. Even if you wanted to do a few like with some dots or like a pattern, I think that would look cool. Um, what I think would be really neat is if you're giving this to somebody during this COVID season to possibly even write like you could even write at the top COVID-19 memorial stones and then write you know God he gave us you know I would I would write personally he gave us eggs through a neighbor you know he has given us he has given us so many blessings people coming we actually just had somebody come by this morning to drop off lessons for our kids for church for tomorrow for Easter we had somebody come and drop off Easter cookies to decorate and Easter eggs. And so I just think I want to be one that's going to be reminding myself and reminding others of God's promises, God's blessings. And to know, I like in verse, let's see, chapter 3, verse, what is it? Verse 4, then you will know which way to go since you have never been this way before knowing that he's faithful even when I haven't been this way before. So this is what we've done today. May your children ask, what are these stones that, pe that all the peoples of the earth may know that, he, that the hand of the Lord is powerful? So Ow. even around that, if you wanted to do a wash, you could. I'm going to do a little wash, and then I will let you go enjoy your day. Got a little extra brown on there. So I'm doing, it's a gray wash. You could even, 
if, like just decorate this thing with polka dots and all kinds of curly Q lines. Be as creative as you can. But I would definitely take the time to write the ways that you have seen his faithfulness through this season and be able to share that with someone who you give this card to. So, yes, buddy. Do you like mine? Your football field? Mm-hmm. I do, but you don't have any green on it. You need to put some green. Oh, I forgot. Oh, for, oh forgot the green. <laughs> okay. So here's what we've done. Make sure and sign it at the bottom. With and then with a pin. pin. And then feel free to share it with a neighbor. Share God's word with a friend who's in need or who's hurting. And I love you. Hope you have a good day.